Here's an easy weeknight keto chicken dish that you can make in just 30 minutes. And the components of this sauce are gonna surprise you. Let's start with the chicken. Season both sides of chicken thighs with salt and pepper. These are boneless, skinless chicken thighs because my family gets annoyed when I cook with bone in. I think it adds more flavor, but they think it's a pain in the butt to eat. Takes too much time, apparently. Let's heat up some avocado oil in a skillet over medium high heat. I decided to be a bit of a rebel and bread my chicken with something other than almond flour this time. It's something unexpected. It has zero net carbs and a similar texture to all purpose flour. Can you guess what it is? If you guess almond flour, then you need to rewind this video by six seconds and listen to that again. If you guess bamboo fiber, close, but I keep hearing people getting upset stomachs from bamboo fiber, so I didn't wanna take that risk. Instead, I used oat fiber, which worked beautifully to create this crispy golden crust on the outside. But honestly, you could just probably use almond flour or pork panko too. I seared the chicken on both sides until it was golden, which took around three to five minutes per side. It won't be cooked all the way through, and that's okay because we're gonna finish it in the oven. You just want it to be seared and crispy and golden on the outside to help trap in all of those juices. You'll need to work in batches, so keep some spacing in between your chicken. Otherwise, if they're too close together, they're gonna steam instead of sear and you won't get that juicy center in the inside. After it's seared, remove the chicken and let's make a delicious sauce that is like a ray of sunshine on a cold winter day, which I'm sick of winter. I am so ready for spring. I'm sick of boots, snow gear, coats, sweatshirts tossed everywhere in the house. Most of the snow looks like this anyway. There's not enough daylight and my skin has been so dry. Oh. But I have a solution that will fix all of that. Well, besides the dirty snow, can't do anything about that, but it's Element Electrolytes. The humidity is usually the lowest outside during the winter, and plus all that dry heat on the inside of the house, keeping your house warm, helps to dry out your skin faster than it would during any other season. But I feed my body water in a science-backed electrolyte formula of 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. It's going to help me stay hydrated from the inside, keeping my skin soft and smooth. Plus it gives me the energy to clean up all this crap. Right now, Elm is offering my viewers a free sample pack with any Element order. It's a great way to try all eight flavors and see if it helps beat your winter blues. To get yours, go to drinkelement.com slash ketofocus. Now for the sauce. One key ingredient to making this delicious is sun-dried tomatoes. Chop them up until you have about a half of a cup. These are a little bit higher in carbs, but they add so much flavor and plus it's spread around six servings, so it's really not that much carbs. Set those aside and go back to our skillet, add in a couple tablespoons of butter. Once that's melted, add in some flavor, which is two teaspoons of Italian seasoning, two cloves of minced garlic, and a pinch of red pepper flakes, just for a bite of heat. Cook that until it's this beautiful golden brown color, which just takes a couple of minutes. Then stir in a half of a cup of chicken broth and make sure you scrape up the bottom of the skillet to get those tiny flavor bits of chicken and then bring it to a boil and let it simmer for around three to five minutes. White wine would also be a good substitute for the chicken broth here. You know, if you usually carry wine in your house instead of chicken broth like most households. To make it creamy, add in a cup of heavy cream or you could use nut milk or coconut cream if you're looking for like a lower calorie or a dairy-free option. Now it's time for those sun-dried tomatoes and for a little extra flavor kick, add in a quarter cup of basil pesto. Stir that until it's incorporated and then add the chicken back into the skillet because remember it wasn't fully cooked through and food poisoning is really never a welcome guest at any dinner table. Next, sprinkle about a half of a cup of Parmesan cheese over the top. For a dairy-free option, you could look up some recipes for dairy-free Parmesan cheese or you could use any sort of dairy-free cheese, just top that on or just leave it out. This will go into the oven to cook uncovered for around 10 to 15 minutes or until the chicken is cooked through. I like to serve this over cauliflower rice because pouring that extra sauce on this and mixing it in with the rice is just fabulous. But if you think cauliflower rice is nasty, you could actually pour it over your favorite keto noodle or just learn how to cook cauliflower rice correctly so that it doesn't suck. And I show you how to do that in this video right here. 